Good evening. Regarding the supplemental school levy, personally, I'm offended that you believe the majority of this area's citizens are willing to relinquish the right, privilege, and responsibility to vote every other year on a measure that directly impacts the taxes we hand over to the government for disbursement to this district to further your agendas. The first rule in business for proper use of operational funds is not to use more than the necessary to produce the best results. The goal of every school should be to provide for the best possible education for its students. I believe this district is spending too much on status bureaucratic administrative models as well as books and curriculum that do not provide a classical education. Instead, it advances social fads. Now, a few things to consider. One, administration growth in public schools has exploded relative to growth in students and teachers. Two, there is free educational curriculum available from a number of sources, such as the well-known Hillsdale College K-12 curriculum. Three, the alphabet programs, directives, virtue, and status signaling have overtaken public education in the form of diversity, equity, inclusion, social-emotional learning, climate justice, social justice, environmental social governance, and now sexual fluidity, just to name a few. Four. More than a third of students in reading and half of the students in math do not meet proficiency levels, and yet the graduation rate is 91%. How does that work? Simply put, the monetary proficiency and psychological costs to this entire community must be addressed now, not with expensive slick marketing, but with a return to a well-structured classical education. You're constantly answering citizens' questions by saying, it's for the kids. The woke programs and curriculum are not being done for the kids, but rather to the kids. Is that why you want millions upon millions of tax dollars to be levied upon citizens for an indefinite period of time and remove their ability to vote, holding you accountable in the future? Is it? Now I've heard you're sending out absentee ballot request forms using the children as couriers, which sounds like an attempt at ballot harvesting. It may or may not be legal, but it definitely fails the morality test. The road you are forcing us to travel is allegedly lined with good intentions. Before reaching our destination, we'll all be begging for mercy. Thank you for your time. Thank you.